The Axis Syllabus is um, a kind of a, a discipline, I would say today, which was uh, put on the way by Frey Faust, now about 20, 25 years ago. And um, it's a discipline, a method to uh, analyze movement, to uh, examine body in movement, and um, to try to get the most logical way how to harness kinetic energy and uh, to use kinetic energy in order to do things which would be difficult or which would be sometimes not possible to do. Find a way uh, to do them with uh, ease um, in the orientation of uh, anatomic uh, parameters. Is the axis syllabus you could think uh, it's a uh, system mainly to analyze and describe movement. So it gives you tools which feed off very uh, a lot of different disciplines. It, it takes information from uh, biomechanics, it takes information from the medical sector, it takes information from other disciplines today which exist who also are in research for functional uh, movement of uh, the body. So there can be uh, elements from Feldenkrais or Alexander. Then um, there is uh, the other aspect that it is a method to teach human people. So um, the, in the aim of uh, teaching first of all a uh, coordination skills, uh, it's to teach um, also emotional stability, it's to teach self-defense in the sense of uh, using the free fall and finding anatomically correct uh, defense systems in order to use the fall and convert the fall, which is an optional crash, into an opportunity. Into an opportunity to turn, to run, to jump. The ground uh, basic ideas for the access syllabus come from the two main activities we did or we do, which is crawling, so using all four supports, hands and legs, but also walking. So all the uh, ideas which are inscribed in the human locomotive principle of a walk are abstracted, they are um, used and then redesigned for dance. So that means they can be designed uh, for finding forms to turn, shapes to hold, uh, locomotive energy to jump, etc. The other syllabus uh, can be also defined as a discipline which uh, is like a big uh, box, a toolbox of knowledge. So collecting information from all these different areas of research and then using this information to uh, help people understand what is happening in the movement. The important thing I think inside that is that you just you learn to use, uh, for example, you learn to use uh, how to use a screwdriver and put in a screw inside something. How you will do that later, like what you want to build with that, you could build the house, you could build the board, you could build the table. That will be then all decisions which come afterwards as the aesthetic choice. If you want to compose movement, what kind of movement do you want to compose? Mm, I think I wouldn't say that it's a contradiction. I would say that, uh, that it is an addition of information, but it might be seen as a contradiction towards uh, maybe traditional approaches to dance or to movement which exist maybe since 50 or 100 years. Because um, if these uh, other um, movement uh, styles are not updated to what we know today about the human body, which is very different to what we knew 50 years ago about the human body, especially the science today, which has developed uh, and is developing in such a high speed, all the time we're getting new information about how a body is designed to function. How are the bones designed to move? Which attachments, origins, and attachments the muscles have, and which direction they may work? Then uh, the idea, um, the big um, new idea of fascia today, to understand the function of fascia, this extracellular web, which is enveloping the whole body, and that the fascia is actually a global communicator for the body. So everything is in a way local, but it's also global. So things which happen in the knee also have a lot to do with things happening in the spine. Or things that are happening in the shoulder girdle have uh, an influence on how your feet are standing on the floor. And the idea is not to 
uh, contradict and to push out everything else. I don't think that any discipline today can offer the truth. It can offer or contribute towards a part of a truth, but the truth which stays dynamic. So, also in our community of the Arctic Syllabus, we might uh, we have thought that certain things were valuable three years ago. Today we don't use these anymore because we found out that through new research these information are not up to date anymore. So I would say maybe the contradiction towards some disciplines or some other styles are that uh, we are continuing to update on a regular basis and keep uh, the most recent information and integrate them again to find uh, other ways to, uh, to understand movement. Fray Faust to consolidate it, he's active in the whole world, but we have now about, um, actually, I think it's about nine teachers who are active in the whole world. There is some in uh, America, around Santa Cruz and San Francisco. There is some people in uh, Canada, and uh, some people in, uh, somebody in Germany, somebody in Austria, somebody, uh, me, I'm in Belgium. And Fray Faust too is uh, based in Berlin, in Germany, but who is also active in Europe. And also these teachers, they travel. They go to visit different places or where they get invited and uh, continue to offer the information. So now we have a bigger network of resources who, uh, who move uh, around in the world to, to, uh, to teach movement. In Greece right now, there is nobody. But we are here now and uh, as we're getting invited, for sure we will come. Here in Greece, uh, the next big event would be in the summer. In August, we scheduled this nomadic college, which is our annual uh, one-month event. It's a series of workshops during four weeks, all based around the Axis syllabus. So there will be a big resource of uh, teachers come, who also teach inside the nomadic college, Fay Faust of course also as uh, the main guider of uh, the movement plus contem uh, contemporary ca classes so classes which use a different style maybe African or percussion tightrope or um, straight rope but applying the same idea the same principles of movement which the Axis syllabus are uh, offering yes in this event um, this month we decided to come to Patras. Last year we were in um, um, in, know, in Finland, right before we were in Czech Republic. That's why it's nomadic college. Each, month, each year it's traveling into a different country or a different city and uh, finding a host for the nomadic college and then offering uh, classes for students who come from the country itself, but also from uh, all over the world. The idea in the college you know, the Nomadic College is um, offering um, a concentrated time and a concentrated amount of information and teachers for people who want to participate. The, um, the idea to get uh, certified to teach is a much longer process. So it demands, uh, first of all, a uh, profound and deep study of movement to understand the theory, to already being able to apply and then there is a whole other sector about the pedagogy and the ethics of teaching. And these things, they are not all offered in the Nomadic College. The Nomadic College is really a study time, an intensive study time for, uh, for all kinds of students who are interested in this work. Mm. My base uh, is since three years, I'm regularly teaching in Belgium, in Brussels. So there I've built up a regular schedule where uh, I teach uh, three or four times a week on a regular basis where people come to, to, to take class. And then outside that, I'm offering a morning series in Brussels in uh, two to three other studios. And then, yes, um, the other tour that I do is workshops on weekends or during the week inside Europe where I get invited. I have students who come uh, who are dancers or professionals, but also I have uh, students who are occupied with other things. Uh, they, some, some people are doing uh, work in the office, but they want to move, they want to keep their body alive and feed with uh, physical and uh, kinesthetically logical information so they can also come to the class. 
And yes, the idea uh, through traveling is of course to reach as many people as possible and to um, spread out the network, not to stay local but to connect uh, with a lot of places. And the interest in um, evaluating dance, the interest in, um, in, in understanding the body, what is happening actually, I think uh, is getting more, is increasing. Also, if you look at um, the rate, how long uh, professional dancers are able to dance, especially in uh, certain classic styles, or also certain modern uh, styles, um, the rate of injury is very high. So the people also, I think, start to ask themselves, how can I prolong my uh, work, my, my, my time as a dancer, my profession as a dancer? I think Alexander Feldenkrais and yoga, they are all disciplines dancers go, already on a very regular base. And in order to uh, get something additional besides the dance education. And I think some of these uh, information are very useful. But um, most of the times I see a, a gap from additional uh, disciplines because they don't necessarily deal with moving in space. Um, often uh, yogic positions um, work static. So the idea is how to find the static positions and to hold them. Which is a very different idea than if you want to move because the gravitational field is changing. Uh, you're tipping over, you're using the fall, and uh, you have to deal with uh, forces as you move through space. I wouldn't say that the axis syllabus is really the complete thing. Uh, it's still a very open field and we would like to keep it open so it's evaluating, it's not getting stuck somewhere, it's not becoming a rigid style. It's like a, really offering a dynamic base from where the student can jump off in whichever direction they want. The Access Syllabus also has an artistic side, so the community of uh, participants are also uh, artists and they work on creation and um, in the creation you can have the freedom to use this discipline but you can also use it to do something else. That's again always depending on the choice of the person who is practicing it. I think really the most important thing is that uh, we would like to offer the uh, way to move which is uh, representing the, uh, a neutral base.